What's up? Taco the Taco. Out here at Taco Joint in Austin, Texas. Now, according to Yelp, this is the number one spot to get tacos in Austin. I don't know, I'm a little hesitant, but I've seen some pictures. So we, and Erica behind the camera, are gonna be the judges of that and kind of be the final decision maker, you know, to let y'all know whether y'all are right or not, all you Yelpers here in Austin. So come on and let's go see what Taco Joint is talking about. La, 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 yeah. Die with the beef, then I gotcha. If the food trash, you can pop with the chocolate. If the y'all shells in this place like a shotgun. Boy, I'm a hard shell, homie, you a soft one, yeah. You ain't eating right if it ain't with me. The big homie taco like Supreme. Yeah. If you got beef, then we can meet. You know the boys stay short like. I'm eating tacos with taco. I'm eating, yeah. I'm eating, yeah. yeah. That's a plate full of happy. Yes, he is. Because tacos are good. Yes, they is. It's not proper English. But don't correct me. All right, we got six tacos here for the three of us. We have a chorizo and egg for little Miss Grown over here. Another chorizo and egg for Mr. Grown right here. We have their street taco, which the lady up front said this is their best taco. This is the one that everyone gets. This is what they're known for. So I'll be the judge of that. Um, oh, we have an El Porco, is what they call it. So it's pork, marinated in some sauce. It smelled like your abuelita's house. You know, no matter what time of the day you go, there's always some food. There's always something cooking in the background, right? It's, it's midnight. Got something, the beans cooking overnight long and slow so they can be ready for breakfast in the morning. I don't know. So uh, we're gonna dive in. I'm excited. I can tell already. Look at the size of this tortilla. Now, this is the tortilla that they use in Toy Story when, uh, he, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, chorizo and egg, it is overflowing. As y'all can see, it's drip dropping, which is always a plus. Can you really mess with chorizo and egg? No, but I'm excited to take a bite into this and see what, uh, how good it is and what they're talking about here at the taco joint. So here goes bite number one. Good, solid chorizo taco. Uh, <clears throat> not bad. Could add a little bit more chorizo. But the tortilla, you can't tell it's a homemade tortilla. Nice and thin, <clears throat> warm. Not as fluffy as Valentina's that we had yesterday with the homemade tortillas, which I do prefer good. If you're gonna have a flour tortilla, it's gonna be nice and fluffy. Almost like a pillow from heaven. So, I mean, chorizo and egg, not bad. These are these two are the what I'm excited about. You have the El Porco, which is pulled pork roasted in some sauce with queso fresco, cilantro, and then it says to add some habanero to add a little kick to it. I don't know if I'm gonna do that because uh, we traveling today and this may not be good. So look at this nice slices of avocado, the melted queso fresco. Nice pieces of meat. Oh, so good. <clears throat> and then look, it's another plus for them so far. Yo, that's a big taco. That's overflowing, which is a plus. I don't know. <clears throat> Gotta eat this side, cause it, look at that, babe. It's a beautiful taco. All right. She doesn't like when I do this, but this is gonna have to be a big bite. Big bite for big taco, a bulky taco. So uh, here we go. Huh? Is it the best quality of meat that's in this taco? Probably not. It's a little chewy. I had a little couple of just tough pieces that I had to, you almost have to just swallow it at that point or spit it out. The flavor profile though is there, good good flavoring. It's a nice nice taco, a nice taco. This is the one I'm most excited about. Oh, there's avocado everywhere. This is their street taco. This is the one that was suggested to me that this is their best taco. This is what they're known for here. So I'm gonna spread a little lime on it because that's what you do with the street taco. And then you go in. So. Fail. 
Shout out to Miss Leslie, because she got me the other day. You made the video, Miss Leslie. You made the video. Alrighty. Again? Almost looks like a waffle cone that you get it from the rodeo. You got meat just kind of splurging out. <clears throat> Mix it in together, because I, uh, I wouldn't have been able to take that bite. All right. Here goes the street taco, a taco joint. They said it's their best taco, and this is what they're known for. I'm about to be the judge of that. We just have to pause the video and restart the video for like five minutes. Because <clears throat> I'm going to chew on it. This is dry. Dry in the Sahara Desert, bruh. Dry in some of y'all's DMs, bruh. Anyways, mine used to be dry back in the day, so don't worry about it. Jalen called me out the other day, Daddy. He was single for three years, bruh. Anyways, I want it to be good. I really do. Decent flavoring, but it's dry, <clears throat> and it makes the whole taco sad. Maybe let me put some sauce on it, take a couple bites, and then we'll, we'll, we'll be back, and I'll give you my final verdict of this. Um, give me a moment, just please. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Listen, taco joint, taco joint, yeah, I'm at the taco joint. Man, I'm so disappointed in the freaking taco joint. Yelpers in Austin. Y'all say this is the number one spot to get tacos in Austin. Y'all are wrong. Why? Because I said so. My name's Taco and I'm here to declare that Taco Joint is not the best tacos in Austin. Listen, I really wanted to enjoy it. I had two, two meat tacos. One had beef, one had pork. The meat quality, basura. When we're over here reviewing tacos, we have a little saying, a little lingo, I guess you could say. If the food trash, you get popped with the chancla. Listen, taco joint, y'all have a couple things going for y'all. Tortillas, good. They're just a little bit, a little bit above average. Good, solid, homemade tortilla. Meat, meat quality, need to work on it, needs to be improvement. Both of my tacos just had just a whole bunch of fatty, just chunky pieces. The portion size is good. That's what you have going for you. Salsa, good. That's what you have going for you all. But the, the, the taste is missing a little bit. One of my tacos was drier than, like I said, some of y'all's DMs. I, it's just, I wanted it to be good. I really did. But I'm sad. I'm disappointed. I'm leaving Austin with these as my last tacos. So, you know what? If I was going to rate taco joint from one to five tacos i'm gonna go with a two and a half taco now listen why two and a half y'all had some things going for y'all like i said portion size the salsa is good the tortilla is good but y'all missed the mark on everything else the flavor is kind of eh. jalen and erica enjoyed their their uh, breakfast tacos but everything else was just subpar and just kind of average so, I'm disappointed. Austin, I'm disappointed in you. Y'all need to come to Houston or some places in Dallas if y'all want to experience some good tacos. So, I'm leaving Austin disappointed. Please like, comment, subscribe. Maybe some of us are gonna have beef after dissing this place, but I hope we're still cool. I hope you still follow me. So until next time, I'm out.